Hello everyone and welcome back to Susa Place and to Blood Bowl 2. Uh, the wild animals have got an, all the players back now and everyone is available to play for the next game. However, Tiger Cub here is on his uh, last uh, last leg. He is his uh, he's close to retirement. Uh, but he's going to play a little bit a few more games because he wants to see his prodigies Buffalo and Moose get uh, guard and some skills. Warthog as, as well has uh, gotten a strength upgrade and he will look to joining the ranks of uh, four strength linemen with the Black Orcs. So he will also, also be looking to get guard. But we need some more guard players, and that's why we've convinced Tiger Cub to play a few more matches for us, even though it's at risk of his health, because he's lost both one armor value and he has a niggling injury, so he will take a plus one on both the armor and the injury roll now. Other than that, we are doing pretty fine. Cheetah is not having a great season, he's not... Uh, not advancing at all, he's still on 2 SVP, he's been passed by by Warthog, who's uh, a prodigy, he's uh, had a very promising start. And Meerkat hasn't gotten to play yet, he's eager to play and show what, he's, what he can do. But uh, Rat of course is more skilled, so he will always be the first pick in the important place. So Meerkat is not getting his chance yet, but it will come in time. And uh, almost 20,000, uh, with by I mean 2,000. Uh, I was going to look at getting another reroll, but of course that's not enough money for that. So we're gonna have to wait a little bit on that. Right. So that's the setup. Now we will see who will play today. We've had a mix of opponents lately, and it looks like it's going to be dwarfs. Dwarfs are probably our least favorite opponent, especially if they have guard on everybody, which they normally do. We are going to get some petty cash, so let's have a look at our opponents and see. Guard, 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 no guard on the runners, no guard on troll slayer, guard on four long beards, then one guy who doesn't have it. Death Roller also with Guard and Grab. Interesting. He only has three movement. And uh, hmm, yeah, lots of Guard. Also pretty skilled runners. No agility rolls. Some movement rolls. No strength rolls. I think we could, uh, if we get a good start against these guys, I think we can do it. Now, what do we want to get? for 20,000 cash. Probably a wizard and then one blood voice a bay. Let's go with that. That'll cost us 10,000 of our own money, but we can uh, spend that little, I suppose. And our opponent didn't get anything, so he won't have a bribe, because I didn't see a free bribe in the inducements. Maybe he would have had one if he had a home field advantage, but this, of course, is our stadium. There we go, I say hello, and... This, here's our opponent's team. And he wished us have fun as well. Not good luck, because you don't want your opponent to have good luck. Right, uh, he won the coin toss, which is not good for us. So let's go with our standard setup. And, well, Tiger Cub, you know what, the, what they say. You're gonna have to stand on the line here. I will use Moose and have Buffalo in the back here, because he doesn't have guard. So we will at least try to to have that work for us. And also, I think we will use Zebra. 
because we're uh, going to use the kickoff. It's his first time playing a zoo. Alright, let's uh, also put this on so I can quickly see what skills I have and zoom out a little bit. Yeah, this is our normal setup. We'll go with this. Oh yeah, four strength over here. But I don't need anyone else on the line. Not when I'm... Not when I'm... Uh, uh, on the defense. Oh, uh, I had my hand on the wrong keys there, so I couldn't scroll. I thought it was target or something. Okay, it's so a dodge, kick of return. Looks like Hail Mary Pass. No, that's um, Nerves of Steel and Fend. Do you have kick of return too? No, so I'll go with a short kick then. There's a blitzer with movement. But he's lost the movement as well, because he only has six movement. No, wait, they only have five normally, so yeah. Okay, he does have. He does have uh, one more movement. Okay, the short kick turned out to be pretty long. And we got an extra reroll. And he knocks us down. I'm gonna stand firm. No armor break yet. Okay, so what did he have on the rest of them? Mighty blow, mighty blow, pylon, mighty blow, stand firm pro, pylon on the death roller, mighty blow there. Okay, looks like he's building them to knock people out. So we want to avoid that. He's gotten juggernaut on his his uh, blitzer here, or the troll slayer, even though he has guard. He's gonna take that without anyone assisting, and he got... Alright, he had someone assisting. And there's the pylon, but he didn't use it. So he's a bit careful not to pile on on the no armor break. Good to know. Is there a guy behind the death roller there? There is not. Okay. I could knock him down, stand him up, knock him down, stand up here, I have to run in here, I would have plus one, two, three, which would mean I could get the death roll over the bliss. But since he always has, he only has three movements, so well, he would be able to stand up, I suppose. Gonna take the ball here, I suppose. Yes, sure hands worked. We had to use it. And there we are. My question is, do I want to bless with the troll here? Do I want to go for someone who could perhaps be uh, targeted up with a pylon? The other runner is going up. I could target him. He doesn't have block. Oh well, uh, first you stand up. You stand up. Let's see if I can knock this guy down. I'm not going to be able to knock him back. Okay, double spells. 
and two double skulls. So probably not them. Uh, but we still have our line set up. He's gonna have a chance to knock us down over here now. He's gonna move up on our force strength blitzer. He didn't check. And see, he was force strength. But we don't let he could do it. But it looks like his troll slayers are elsewhere. Okay, and he tried to dodge. That must have been a misclick as well. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Explain his. Uh, I didn't saw your big guy. No, you didn't. So. Now I could try this. Alright, we roll. And look, it's a good hit. Now this would be a single die. Which could be good enough, but I could as well, might as well move someone in here. Now do I want to blitz him? I think I do, but first I want to move some people over to that side. I would like to go for it. Okay, you're all stupid, unfortunately. I can't do much about that. I could... Technically, let's see, one, two, three, four, seven. This would be a single die as well. But let's wait a little bit. Try to get a plus one over here. That works. I haven't blitzed yet. So I want to do this. Knock this guy down. Thank you. Not back, but still. And then I want to blitz. I have blitzed. Alright, oh, with the troll. Okay, stay there then. And also. You go up here. Then I'll try this single die. It's. what is it? It was a skull, apparently. I couldn't reroll, so. Might as well take the exciting bit there. That's too bad, because uh, on a double down, we would have got him down. Defender Stubbles would have got him. Defender Down, of course, would have got him. Push would not have done anything, so. That's too bad. We've rolled quite a few ones so far, but he also has had some bad luck with that dodge. That was only a 50% chance, but still. I guess it was bad luck that he didn't see it. Considering our rolls so far, we're in a pretty good position. He needs to move someone else up here if he used to hit us with a two die. He is moving the ball over there though. Took a single die, it worked. Somewhat. You got a push. Didn't follow there, that was probably smart. And now he's going to try to blitz us. This would turn problematic for him if he gets a push. And he does get a push, or a standoff. He takes the push, that could be very risky. And the Dauntless fails, this would be a red die, into Skull. He rerolls it into another push. But that leaves his, uh, his uh, Troll Slayer in a vulnerable position.
That's also dangerous. You don't have block. So what are you trying to do? Well, we need uh, some extra strength over here if we to do this. We can. Oh, that's uh, the death mover. He has a grab so you can push him to the side. You gonna pile on? It would be nice for me if he did, but he didn't. Okay, well, this guy is doomed. Push him, push him away. Now, um, might as well. We don't do much good over there anyway. And we actually broke armor. It's uh, something. Well, how far back can I get? Not as far as I'd like. That'll be a one. This is a bad chance. One, two, three, six versus seven. Not good enough. And you could get up here, I suppose. No, he got stupid again. That's another one for us. Okay, we'll have a look, look at the Death Roller. Is there a guy behind the Death Roller now? There is. Can I hit him? Single die. Yeah. So this wouldn't be a good at all then. No. Alright, but let's do this then. I have some opportunities here. Double scroll, of course, is one of the opportunities. And then push him back follow. That means I can go on to this one. And like, well, that'll do, of course. Yes, Fend. But I don't think I would have liked to follow anyway. Of course, I would have liked to pile on on the stun, but... Uh, that won't work. I can put another guy in the death roller and get a single eye on him. also try this single die. That's not a good one though. I would like more players over here so we can move forward. So I think I'll do that instead. In fact, I'll try to do this. I'll dodge out and then use that to get a single die on the death roller. No? Miscounted? We can't push this guy back. And, okay. Well, I'll take a negative die on death over there. Wonderful. And now this is a two die. Not that one though. Let's take this one. Okay, that's bad. Uh, let's take this one and go down. Bit risky. The two die on the death row lord is definitely super risky. We kind of need to get away from him. Also, our troll would be nice if we could move sometime soon. Now he can blitz through here. It's going to be tough though because we have four strength. We could move in some gorge, like so. And then try this. If he gets a push, he will be in trouble. But he gets the knockdown this time. And now he can move out of the way. And move through with the ball. Gonna set up the cage over here. Okay, well, we don't want to do that dodge. You don't have to either. It's just gonna go, okay. 
That means if I can get Death Roller... Actually, no, I can't do it with the Troll. I can move Tiger Cub in there. Maybe Bear Cub. Did I forget to stand Tiger Cub up last time? I could have gotten an extra die over here. I'm not sure. Maybe he was knocked out. Can't remember. Okay, well, we are going to have a chance to hit him from here. I think. I slipped on the going for it. I think he slipped on the second one. He is gonna spend a reroll on it. That's his last reroll of the half. And he rolled another one. Die rolls have not been great so far. Okay, so. Tiger Cub. Step in here. Plus one. We now have plus three. That means we still get a negative die because of him. But I should be able to punch him then. Oh, well that's not good enough. Because he has a firm. And that means... I don't have any good chances. Two going for it to hit him. Could be worth it. Get down here to be a little bit... Of a nuisance. Yeah. I'll probably do it. Stand up, Buffalo. Let's have Bear Cub move one down. I have the the wizard, the last resort here, but this is a bad chance. So let's. Well, there's there's no not anything else to it. And he rolled stupid again. Wow, that's... Uh, what is that? Three in a row? And I... In instead of... Uh, I just ended my turn there. Well, I don't think there was much else I would like to do there anyway, so... Could have taken a negative on a death row though, but... Maybe I could have dodged someone out. I should definitely have dodged out here. I was uh, thinking about the uh, skip the reroll, but I don't get to skip the reroll when I don't have any rerolls. So we should look at using our wizard before our next move here. What did he do there? Oh, he, I thought he was hitting with the death roll. But he pushed him in there. He's gonna blitz, get. Didn't get. Daunt well. Yeah, he didn't get dauntless. He could have, but he failed the dauntless roll, I suppose. And he don't have any reroll, so we didn't even see it. Yeah, there we go. Dauntless one failure, and the death roller. Pylon? No, no pylon. So he's gonna stay there. Looks like. 
Oh, I have jump up. He, knew, he noticed, so he's gonna move away. And then probably set up over here with his runner. Now, I could try to dodge out and hit him here. It's really not that bad of a chance. Well, he's gonna have two chances to knock us down, but they're not gonna be good enough. Okay, well... Can we stand the troll up? You think? Yes! He's back. Um, I could double team him. We'll try this dodge out hit. If it fails, though, there's not much left. I'm not going to have any chances with him, despite jump up here. This one's okay. Take a tie. I could try to dodge these guys out. If this fails, he's just going to blitz me anyway, so I'm just going to try this. there, so we save our good rolls for this, and we fail the dodge, as expected, really. So, he is going to move up and protect the ball. This means we can't even... Uh, can't even uh, uh, use our wizard to stop him here, because he'd just pick it up again and score anyway. Reroll that with Pro. He didn't get a better result, but he got a reroll at least. And that one will do it. Uh, stand for it. There goes Buffalo, he's stunned. And... Frenzy, single die into... No knockdown at least. He did manage to knock Seabird down and stun him. Hmm. He has both sure hands, guys, here, so. You'd have to get very lucky to knock both of them out through the fireball. And another stun. It's gonna get everybody with single dice. Stand firm. Well, our troll is up. And could hit the death roller. I would have a... Uh, Six versus seven, that would be a negative. Can't get better either, really. 
He has dodge, so he would just score on me if I tried anything here, I believe. Okay, well, should stand up here. And... Who is this? It's our thrower. Okay, you stand up too. Then Moose hit this guy. Good. Now this is negative, and if I stand up here, it's still negative. This, of course, is very negative. I can't really dodge out of it. This dodge would be very difficult for an orc. I think I'll do this instead. Try to knock him down. Like so. And then... Just move in next to him. I mean, he can blitz me away easily, but... If we now zap him with our lightning strike... He would have a kind of tough time to get the ball again if it lands next to us. If he bounces out here, well, he would have a pretty good chance. But his dodge is pretty easy and he can blitz us away first. So I think we, we use the lightning here. Do we want to try this first? Probably not. I'll stand up over here though and... Oh! I guess that's all the time we had. Man, and I was doing everything instantly. Two minutes is really too short to do anything. I should put the timer like in the middle or something. Frenzy, and he rolled into negative. Ah! We should have stood him up first. Well then, I don't think we need to... Uh, I don't think we need to... Uh, to use our wizard. goes the ball. Let's stand over here. Maybe we should just pick it up. To be honest. No, we don't have a reroll. Let's just stay safe here. Now we should be able to do this. No? Okay. Maybe. If we got this guy down, or away, push would be enough. And then we get this guy down. And now we gotta have enough. Thank you. Right, that means we can... I've already blitzed. But we can do this. To get down as far as possible. And this would be a single. Because... Why? He's down. Why is this only a single? Three versus three, plus one from him, minus nothing. Well, I don't get it. Oh, wait, no, that's not his skills. Okay, that, then I get it.
There we go. Is that a pylon? That is a pylon. Yes. Maybe. Yes, looks like you'll be out for the rest of the game. Thank you. Do I take this single or do I try to dodge away and perhaps get in here? I think I'll dodge. Right. Now his guys can stand up, but they shouldn't have much movement. So I don't think they can frenzy. They can then probably get us away from there and I guess we could pick it up afterwards. Hmm. It's gonna be some die rolls. One going for it. Gets the two die, gets the push. But the second one is going to be also a two die. Yeah, okay, I should have seen that coming. Maybe I should even have stood over there. And the score. Well, that was a bit careless. I probably could have could have uh, stopped that somehow. But stood on a different tile. I could have made it more difficult. Uh, I wouldn't. I don't know if I could have stopped that. I could have dodged out my line man. It was something I should have considered. But we got rid of one guy, and his death roller. It's also gonna give it. Go away. That means he's down to. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, let him move first. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. He has, still has a full team. And it looks like he's going for the safe setup here. But you know, nothing's safe. As long as we have a goblin. We have a goblin. But it's gonna be the movement goblin for this. We want to put in Buffalo to get a hit in here. Um, I think it's more important for us to perhaps injure someone here. So let's put all our... All our pile-on guys in the front. We can't blitz anyone, so we might as well have... Pile-on here. Pile-on here. Troll, I'd like to go out here. And then Goblin over here. We have Guard, Mighty Blow, you have nothing. That's Buffalo, didn't I? Oh, okay, I used the. Uh... Well, I suppose you guys will have to try that bit. Or maybe I should try it with him. I'm definitely not putting Buffalo there. Okay, let's see here. We might need more players to perhaps catch this ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, five. One, two, three, four. Can go back one. You go over here. One, two, three, four, five. And then... I guess Meerkat, you can be on for this. And then I'll have you as a sideliner over here to one, two, three, four, five, six. A little bit closer. Pick up anything that ends up close to the line. Okay, let's try this one. No kick, but that seems very long. And he can change his defense around. He's going further back. Where's the ball end up? Oh, that's nice. You're gonna have to a free hand to the goblin here. But he's uh, oh, he hasn't realized. Looks like. No, he definitely hasn't re realized. 
Great, so the ball goes directly to the goblin. And then we try the hits. So to weaken him for the next half. Knockdown. Follow. Good armor break. We can pile on here. And it worked. That's two. Miss next game. Is he gonna reroll that? I doubt it. Yes, so now he will be short a player in the next half. That means. Okay, that's not gonna be good enough. But that means we will have one more guy in for this guy. And we could blitz as well. So, mighty blow pylon. Let's try this one. That'll work. Well, no pylon, but mighty blow. Mm, no need to follow, so I'll stay. And we could now blitz this guy for one more chance. Let's use moose so we don't so we don't uh, lose our. Oh, that might be good. Come on, moose. Get your guard. Ah, oh, so close. We got the armor break, but no injury. Just a stun. All right. Uh, just to be safe, I think the goblin counts as someone next to him, but just so we get a better stupidity roll. Okay, here we go. Three teammate throw to here. And he ain't him. Well, that's too bad. That's the third goblin we lost to that. And I didn't re-roll it. Maybe I should have. That's not a turnover, right? But I can't get to the ball now. Oh, actually I can. But I've already passed, so what's the point? Maybe I should stomp on someone instead. What's the chance there? 42%. Can I improve that? Jumping, and it's not gonna get him out there, but all right. So now we have, I believe, three touchdowns, three goblins eaten on our is our total for the goblin throw. I should have rerolled that uh, injury. I'm, I'm not sure if I could. The apothecary could have saved him. Then. Seems strange if you can save him. I'll have to check the, the video and see if I had the option to reroll it for the potty Well, good news is we are getting the ball this time. We still have a full team, we don't even need to have the goblin on the field. And we still have a wizard, so maybe we can use the wizard to uh, break through somewhere and score a touchdown at the end of this half. He's gonna be short one player? Yeah, one player. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10. That means we are going to try well, definitely putting or black or in here. How's our backfield? I think still think we need a few guys back here to catch the ball wherever it may land. Your force strength. Keep you in reserve. Your lineman up front. Where's our good hitter? He's here. Do I want to go for a better target? Not sure who it would be. This guy has strip ball. Maybe I should try to get rid of him. Uh, 
I'm not sure he has a weak side. They're both side both sides are pretty strong. Pile on Dauntless. Okay, let's go on this side because he has stand firm and that might help us actually. So hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Use uh, double hitting. This guy doesn't have guard. In that case, we might as well put you back here as well. Okay, something like this. Both teams lose a turn. You know, we're gonna have to be quick about it. Right, that's near us. I don't think I need to start by picking it up. Instead, let's start by... Punching this guy. Now, this is a bit dangerous. But we have rerolls now again. We have two of them. So, okay, let's just take a push to there. Follow. I realize that's not exactly what I wanted to do. Now I get a triple die here. It should be good enough. And armor break might have a pylon opportunity. Stun, definitely pylon. Didn't work this time. Well, can't get them all. Now, Tiger Cub, do another hit. You might be almost. Almost dead, but you can still hit them, right? Then we troll hit here. Triple die. Triple dies are nice. We stand firm, and he does. Okay, now I want to do this. And this. Knock him down, hopefully he stands firm. That means I don't have to follow. And that means I can still pile on without having to risk going into this tackle zones. Ah, oh, didn't work that time either. Okay, so now we try to go up here, I believe. Let's make a bit of a cage. This guy has fend, so he's a good corner. I'll need some safety over there. Perhaps I should... Now let's go over towards this side. I'll keep this guy back in case I drop the ball here. The pickup was good and the movement was good as well. So I will try to strengthen this corner and also make it a little bit further for him to get around here. Good start, I'd say. Even though know, we didn't injure anyone, we stunned two. And we got the ball up to the cage. He is going to blitz us here, but Fen should serve as well. That's gonna be a dodge. And Fend will stop him there, so he can't be next to the ball carrier. So that's one good use of the Fend skill, is to use them as a cage. Because, and also against Frenzy. Of course, I might have wanted him to Frenzy on here, because that would have been negative. Second one. He's going to stock up on people here. And he's also going to pull some back to the other side. Let's see what we can do. We don't want to stand next to this guy, I believe. Let's jump up. Would be nice to get jump up on Bear Cub, but... Yeah, maybe. If he, lo if he rolls a double and it's last level up, we might get jump up on him as well. to allow more liberal use of the pylon skin. 
All right. Some reserves. In case I move over to this side, he still has a decent presence over here. What do I want to do? Guard on him, not on him. I could troll through here. Should not be stupid. Push? No, no push. Then we... Black Orc here. Knock him down. Stun. Could go up here with the cage, maybe. Kinda wanna blitz someone here. I could try and blitz his... Uh, Yeah, go up here, blitz him. That's pretty good. He has Fend though, so we can't pile on. But we can knock him down. And we can break armor, but... Oh, I would have liked to pile on there. But that's another useful... Thing about Fend. And now I think I can get enough players over here to kind of turn the line so I can move over this side. Put you over here. Against this guy, you. I don't want him to go straight through here, so maybe we should have you over here or here. What can I do over here? Answer is probably stay there so we have someone next to patrol. And then I'll try to dodge this guy. Sheeta, you don't need to be there anymore. Let's elf it up and dodge. Stand you over there. Pretty solid line here. A little bit too solid almost. He can't really get around to over here though. Maybe I should have stayed one back. To be more mobile. So he's gonna try to keep up with us over here. Question is, are we going to be able to round the corner? Or these guys are going to be enough to keep him from covering up the sideline before we get there. Let's have this guy. Would be real nice if uh, Moose could knock him down next time. Allow us more mobility, but we still have some movement in here. I think he should probably, yeah, he should probably move up to these spots and hope to tie us up over here. Because if we can tie these guys up, well, we don't have anyone who moves really far over here. We have Coyote. Should probably put someone next to him as well if he can. If he doesn't mark these players, I can use them to build a cage over in this area and then we'll have trouble. Oh, more like this area, I suppose. I don't have that much movement. There it is. It's going to tie up. Actually, it's going to try to knock him down. Single die. Skull. We rolled into push. I believe. 
Yes. Second ch chance is enough. Okay, that's too bad. Is he going to move away from there? No, he's going to pile on. Okay. And he broke armor. Well, I guess that was uh, that was uh, due. We've uh, piled on twice. And then he's going to take a negative on the troll. Get a push. Should I have to pick? Push his... No? Okay, I thought the point was to push the troll away from the guys here so that he couldn't uh, do anything on the next time. Or that we'd have to spend someone else to get him to do anything. We can hit him, and hit him, and hit him. This one is kind of important. If this one is a knockdown, it is not. But if that one had been a knockdown, I could have chosen to go up here. Now it would be kind of tricky. I could get... One, two, three, four, five. I would like to get up to here with the cage. That'd be you. 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 Ah, uh, you'd have to go for it, huh? You'd have to go for it to go there. And then you on the back, and you probably also on the back. Okay, let's try that one. You're on the front. Actually, you be on this side. You'll be up here. I do have a reroll. So let's do the one going for it. Good. I'm glad. Now, you go out here in case this guy has any ideas. And then you go up here. Ooh! That was a dodge. Silly me, huh? Troll. Is it going for it? Okay, let's just. Okay, that's a. Let's knock this guy down first. Hmm. Okay, let's just do this then. Stupid. Okay. I'm not going to re-roll a stupidity roll. And looks like I didn't blitz. Oh well. Could have blitzed the last one when I moved a little bit, I suppose. Well, let's see if the cage is enough. It's not... Not by any means certain. We could definitely... Definitely knock this guy down. But then we would have... We would have a... a jump up from there. And perhaps a blitz. Oh, a bit, I'm a bit far away to blitz. Okay. Not sure exactly what that help is. He's not getting plus one from him, he's cancelled. He doesn't have guard. Was he tricked by his own... Uh... Okay, well, I suppose you didn't roll a skull, so... It did work this time. But I can move him away. But now he's gonna move more people in here. Who has... Stand firm. None of these guys have stand firm. That guy has stand firm. And that's not. Well, it limits our movement from here, but we could still dodge through that. to die? Probably not. Okay, he took it. Takes a push. Uh, 
Very well. What can we do here? He does not have guard. But we don't have guard on anyone here either. So a single die would just be here. Or I could blitz him. I'd rather blitz him, I think. Like that. Can you get up there? One, two, three. You could get in on this guy. That would mean single die on him. Not ideal. Plus one, plus two. I could hit him from here, but... Actually, that could work. If I can get up here, that would be great. Okay, that's a plus one on him. Single die. Single die, single die. Two die. Knock him down. Into him. Away. And now... Knock him away into him over there also on the break and I think that frees us up to move yeah we can score from here but first let's try to get some SPP on our blitzer push too bad Okay, well, if you move in, this guy doesn't have guard, so we can still do this one. He does not have... well, he has guard. Okay, well, I'll push this. What else? Troll it up. I suppose. Okay, we're all stupid. That's too bad. Not gonna spend a reroll. Let's check so we don't spend all our time here. Nine seconds left. Knock him down. Go there. Stay. We have one more hit. Mm. Armor break. No injury. No knockout. This hit. Knock down. And then finally. Touchdown. So we tie the game up. We need one more touchdown to win this. I don't think we knocked down enough players to have an easy time to do this. Yeah, he still has 10 players. We didn't even knock anyone out there, so. But, we do have our uh, wizard, so I will try to use it as soon as possible if we get a chance at the ball. Maybe we should use the goblin. Too late now. It is our method of getting downfield quickly. He's standing back here. He has four turns to score a touchdown. But if he's gonna stand back like that, I am going to take the short kick. That looked pretty short. Yeah, it's decently short. Do we get the kick? No, we didn't get the blitz. We never get the blitz when we need it. So instead, he got to move under the ball and take it. Alright. He's gonna cage up where? Here, maybe? No, he's gonna go over to the other side. It's 
staying away from our thrower. The best ball carrier. Now do we gamble on a huge fireball here? Depends, I guess, on how his line work ends up. I think it's a bit too soon. We do want to move someone downfield though, so we have a, an opportunity for an amazing touchdown. There's a look down. And another. Stand firm. Is that your last thing you did? No, you're still okay. And he's gonna have single die on troll. Looks like it was. Oh, it was uh, an injury. Okay. Well, single dice on the way. Skip that. Do you recover? You do. Well, doesn't really matter because you won't be in the game anyway, and that injury was nothing that would have kept you out. Well, at least uh, there's no point in us having a goblin on the field, so I'm glad we didn't do that. Yeah, I don't think we can we can fireball this. We can fireball the cage here. I suppose we could try to do that if we get like all of them knocked down, which is very unlikely. We could run around here and. Oh, he got it on a single die. Well, we don't have blocks, so... Pylon 2. Alright, no... No armor break. Well, how do we do this? How do we do this? We stand up here. And here, I suppose. Then we run upfield here. Cheetah is our speedy guy. Okay, well that's enough for now. We don't need to do going for it before we've actually gotten the ball somehow. So I kind of want to stand in his way. And try to get an opportunity here. I'm gonna move Bobcat up here as well. Then I think we move... Do we blitz here? Or do we blitz here? I think we want to stand off here. Something like this. Everyone in position to be ready. We move our thrower over to here. And then we blitz this person. There's not a guy there, right? No. Blitz here. Knock down. Follow. Be nice. Stun is nice. I don't think I want to pile on. Can't pile on anyway. Knockout even better, so I'm definitely not the can. And that means I can move right in here. So he's gonna have to use a few guys to get rid of him. Can't really get through here without trouble. Then maybe next time, next turn we fireball. If his cage is... We could move up here with the cage, I suppose. He's gonna try to blitz our thrower, that worked. I need him later, so... Wait. Oh right, we have dodge. Well, he got us on the second row. And pylon, probably. No? No pylon. Hmm. He's gonna knock us down on the line instead. Maybe go this way. Single die. We lost some momentum there since this was just a push. Well, if he moves down here, we're gonna fireball. Let's see where he wants to go. 
Yes. He is gonna try to set up a cage here. He can't move to that corner now. Well, he can move someone in and hit here, and then maybe go to that corner, but... Yeah, he's gonna go for a very tight cage here. This is, of course, Prime Fireball. Fireball Prime. Seven dwarves. But, then again, it wouldn't be enough to hit a few of them. You need to hit, hit most of them. You only got a push there, too. Oh, he's gonna stomp on us? No, that was a misclick. Well, I have to do it. Oh, we got the ball carrier. Stun on the ball carrier. Three guys, four guys, four guys knocked down. He didn't catch it, bounced out, bounced on our ball carrier, and it into the hands of our player. Good. I would say, if not very good. Now, let's do this. Does this guy have stand firm? He does not, and this guy does not have stand firm either. So I want to do this then. Knock him down, into him, push him away. Stay where you are. And he's injured, so he's gone. Now I could run up here and hand the ball over. Would be kind of difficult. But I think we'll have to do it. Before we do that though, let's... Let's move more people up here. To have sort of a cage-ish thing. Then also, I'm gonna hand it over to to Bobcat, I suppose. I would like to have it on Cheetah, but I could try to pass the Cheetah, I suppose. I will move uh, Bobcat into scoring position, so in case this fails, we will have something. Then I'll move Coyote up so to stop anyone from going around. Same here. A bit further up in case the ball ends up over there and we need some players there. I can hit his guy here. Oh, that's a single die. Probably don't want to do that. Same there, right? Uh, then uh, I could hit him. Let's do that one. That's not going to be a push. And then let's try this. Oh, no, I want to do the handoff. I can't do a pass with a black one. Nice, now the handoff, we have a reroll. And this should be touchdown next turn. Thank you, Fireball. No, no single dice with without any skills. So unless I'm tempted to do something stupid next turn and instead of scoring, I will uh, get that touchdown. But of course, it's a pretty large chance that I'll be tempted to do something stupid. Veteran player. That's not good enough. He's gonna reroll it. No, he didn't. Do it. So, like this one, two dive without block. Not gonna do anything there. We could use SPP on our thrower, but. Better chance to... Oh, well, there's not really a good chance to injure a dwarf. I don't think we try it. I think we just score. 
get five points for Cheetah, or I mean three points for Cheetah. And finally he starts getting it in SPP. He's one away from scoring now. And did this guy wake up? No. So he's gonna be short a couple. Defense. Who do we want to put on the line? I guess at th this point we do this. Our low level guys on the front. And the troll who can recover from an injury. But I, I don't bother putting everyone back here. He's gonna use uh, his, uh, his uh, blitz guys to go through. Well, let's do a short kick. Maybe we can get a blitz and get a free SPP from a pass. Oh, the rock in the head. That's a bad way to, to go on this last turn, last half turn. But he, he didn't uh, go down. Okay, he got us in the first turn. But if that's a push, then the next one's pretty bad for you. Pylon was fully expected. Of course, in the last turn, you want to pile on with everybody. He got Dauntless again and got the knockdown. I was hoping for a push because then he would have ran into block. He doesn't have enough to knock the troll down, though. He doesn't have guard on this guy over here. Dodge away from the troll. Takes a double. Okay, he didn't read all that, so we'll take a try. I suppose he'll try again. Oh, I got it. And then a blitz, where they're going for it, single die. It failed. Reroll, of course. Single die is knocked down. Oh no! He knocked out their cub. Well, okay, knock out all things. I could reroll that with a bot carry because he doesn't have any more hits. But why? I'll give him one knockout. Here's the pass. And game. So we got our revenge on dwarf teams. I suppose this guy did not have as much guard, and we got a bit lucky with the armor breaks in the first half. Although uh, we didn't get very lucky with the rolls. I mean, the first roll we did was a double spell, re rolled into double spell. Some money. Not enough to get a new black orc, not enough to get a reroll. Let's try to reroll that and if we roll high. Well, we didn't. Well, we have enough for a black orc. I suppose 80,000 was enough for a black orc. But I don't want to buy another black orc until we've gotten guard on one of the new ones. Zebra Hog, the MVP, unfortunately, he could have left that for one of the low level guys. But I suppose he earned it. He had a good game. I believe he had an injury. We'll see. I mean, an injury caused. They had more successful blocks. And we still got three injuries to one. That's uh, definitely lucky rolls comparatively. Of course, we had a death as well, but that was a, that was a hungry troll caused it. Too bad, because that was our good goblin. But we can get another one. No, Zebra, 
Zebra did not cause any injuries. Okay. Orangutan scored one. And Cheetah scored one. So we didn't get the touchdowns on low level players. Coyote with the two uh, pylon injuries. And Tiger Cub uh, getting one as well. Tiger Cub is our strongest player. Uh, except for Hippo, I suppose. He's also very high level. He got eight points on one of his guys. That's MVP and touchdown. And one injury. Which I can't really remember. But it wasn't uh, anything worse than a out for the game, I'm pretty sure. Right. That's the game. No level ups. One uh, opening for a goblin. I don't think I'll get a goblin. We have one. We don't really need an extra player for the next game. So we'll have to do with one goblin for now. Uh, a little bit of extra SPP. Moose got some SPP, I believe. He's getting. Uh, he's only three points away from his guard level. Warthog didn't get any there. Cheetah got some. Buffalo still hasn't gotten any. It's kind of hard to get SPP for a no, no skill black orc when you have other players who have skills because you will want to use them first. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you again next time.